Hey everyone, it's Jasper here again, and today I'm going to show you how you can get FL Studio instruments, some of which are actually quite good, inside any DAW for free. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to download the FL Studio trial. Um, it's an interesting trial because it's uh, time unlimited, so we're just going to download it. Um, whatever OS you're on, doesn't matter. Um, just install it, install the trial. Don't actually even need to open FL Studio itself. Um, what, we, what we really care about is the VST version of FL Studio. So if you're on a Mac, that's going to install itself to your uh, system VST folder automatically. And so all you need to do is open up your DAW and look for the VST that says FL Studio. If you're on Windows, the process is slightly more complicated. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your uh, System Explorer and search for FL Studio VSTi, which you can see up here in the right-hand corner of my screen. Um, you're going to find that location and drag it to uh, whatever your DAW's VST folder is. Um, and that should be all of the installation you need on a Windows machine. Um, and then once you have done those uh, steps, um, potentially one or both, all you'll need to do is then um, search up in your DAW for the FL Studio VSTi. And so this is going to set up a rewire interface between FL Studio and your DAW. So what you do here is you click the little fruit icon, I guess. Since Harmer is really the best FL Studio synth, um, it's a really interesting additive synth um, that a lot of, uh, it's pretty, you have to pay otherwise a lot of money to get another DAW. Um, let's use that. And uh, so what we do is um, here we have it pulled up in the default um, track one of FL Studio. All you need to do now is just enable it and you can just play it again. Um, and here we have uh, an instance of Harmer in FL Studio that we can play in Ableton. So we can do, um, like record something, um, like you can tell that we now have um, MIDI in uh, Ableton and that's triggering the FL Studio um, synth Harmer. Um, limitation of this method is that it doesn't allow you to save uh, the presets from session to session as far as I'm aware, um, regardless of what your DAW you're using. I think that's just an inherent limitation of the FL Studio rewire, I think. Um, so what you'll have to do then is um, do something like flattening and bouncing, um, which in Ableton you can do by freeze track and flatten. And here we have the audio representation of our Harmer. So that's all. I uh, hope you found this helpful and stay tuned for my weekly series of tutorials, which are coming out every Friday afternoon. Thank you.